guys, gals, and whatever else is watching. So today we're gonna do an oil change. Well, not really an oil change. Uh, I'll get to that uh, once we start on it. But um, oil filter change, fuel filter changed. Uh, I just changed the oil water separator, so we don't need to do that. And uh, we're gonna do a, let's just call it a re oil refresher because I have a, uh, a bypass uh, oil system on my truck. So I'll explain more of it to you once we get there, but right now, uh, I'm at the gas station and we need to get a little bit of fuel uh, so we can f fill up the uh, the fuel filter uh, once we change it out so be right back So this right here is my oil bypass system. It is a OPS system. And so what it does is it will refine the oil down to, uh, I believe it's either two or three microns. Uh, so pretty much it scrubs the oil. And uh, that should allow you to go over 100 to 150,000 miles, if not more, without an oil change. Um, it also burns off any excess water or fuel that is in the oil. And uh, so what, if you had water or fuel in your oil, mainly fuel, um, what that does is that will actually uh, break down your oil. Um, so the last time that I got, uh, I did a full oil change was I believe back in November and then before that uh, it was over a year and I got over uh, 94,000 miles uh, before I changed the oil and the key to this is doing um, doing uh, oil samples so I do oil samples every three months or 30,000 miles and then, so what's good about this is, um, what's good about it is I don't have to spend $400 every service to do an oil change. Uh, every other time, so every 60,000 miles, I change out the main filters, which are down there. Um, I'm gonna do it this time just because I'm doing a full refresh. So every 60,000 miles, I, I, do a, I do a refresh since my engine has uh, 760,000 miles on it, uh, so over 750,000. Um, I'm going to start doing a refresh every 60,000 miles. And, and so basically, what that means is I'm going to take out five gallons of oil, and then plus the oil filters hold three gallons. So that's about seven gallons of oil that you're going to. Um, so yeah so it just saves a lot of money and um, the OPS filters are about 30 bucks a piece you can buy a year's worth I believe it's like 400 bucks so the cost of a, a full oil change um, will get you about a year's worth like I said uh, you know the three filters are usually uh, I think you just pay like about 60 bucks for the filters um, and plus I you know got an extra one of those and so but for the three filters I think it's about 60 bucks or so um, so pretty much every other time it's cost me $60 to change out the oil I to change out the filters um, six bucks. Uh, plus the oil you know, I get mine at Walmart, the two and a half gallon jugs. 
and uh, so yeah let's get started all right so if you've never been under your truck here is the drain plug right there uh, and this is my return line for the OPS system and here's the oil filters here and uh, yeah so while you're under your truck again I know I said this before but um, you know check things out make sure everything's okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and empty the drain plug here and uh, like I said you know five gallons so I'm gonna fill this guy here up this is five gallon jug and uh, we'll go from there all righty sure all you guys know how to pull a plug um, so I don't need to film that I don't think all right we'll come back all right so we got that done and there's our oil and we're gonna get some of our trusty brake cleaner stuff here clean it all up underneath there and uh, we're gonna put some oil in it now I know shouldn't well I mean there's really no rules on you know I, I'm gonna put oil in it I'm not gonna start it up so it's not gonna go through the filters um, so it's gonna go straight to the pan and uh, I'm not gonna turn the truck on with the new oil in it until I get the uh, until I change out the filters so it's not gonna hurt that I, uh, it's not going to hurt that I put the fresh oil in there while the old filters are on there, okay? Because it's just going to dump right into the oil pan uh, with the other oil. So again, I'm just refreshing the oil. So, I'll go over here. And uh, on the mat, here is the oil filler. So we're gonna go ahead and get that off. And then we got our two and a half gallon jugs right here. Walmart special. I think these things are, what, 25 bucks or something like that for two and a half gallons. So I just drained five gallons, so it should take two of those. So the beauty about this is, is after I drain two of those, I'm going to fill up my used oil inside of these things, and then I'll take it and go get it recycled. So uh, let's go ahead and see how many gallons this thing that I just drained out takes. All right, so as you can see, there it's not registering on the, uh, oil stick so let's go ahead and put our oil in all right so i forgot my big oil filler at home so the baby one it is maybe we're gonna we're gonna try to figure this here out it's probably gonna spill it all over the damn place Yep, this ain't good. All right, we got a little bit emptied. Try to speed up the process here. See if we can just make a little bit of a mess. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, usually I have my my big spout with me, but since I left it at home, I thought I had it in the mobile mechanic mobile there. So, I'm just going to fill this up, keep checking the dipstick, and uh, until it reads full again. Then when we change out the uh, the oil filters, we'll have to do the same thing. Eh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Just a little bit of a mess. Just a little bit. So I'll get back down to you. Let's check the dipstick, see what we got, if it's even registering. Yeah, we got a little bit of a register. So we're gonna add a little bit more. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add the other two and a half gallons. That'll be five gallons, and then uh, we'll measure it correctly once I get the oil filters because that's going to use some oil too. So I'm not too worried about overfilling it right now. All right, we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see here, we are a little above the line, don't you think? So, I did take out a little less than five gallons, but hey, that's all right. That's no big deal. So when we actually remove the oil filters, um, there's about three gallons. Uh, each of them holds about a gallon to uh, uh, three quarters of a gallon. So we'll make it up there. So what we'll do is uh, go ahead and take those suckers off and then I'll show you the uh, proper way to put on your oil filter. Um, believe it or not, there is a proper way. All right, so uh, we'll be right back. All right, as you can see, everything's nice and clean. Oil filters are off. That's the foil, uh, the oil filter housing. Uh, there's the starter. If you need to get to your starter, replace it. Uh, only three bolts. So, oh, I don't know what's going on with the phone here. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Getting these damn things off is a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know if I just don't have the right uh, wrench or what, but they're just on there so tight. And I haven't found a wrench that's big enough to fit around there, so I just have like a oil filter wrench I don't actually have to where you can use a um, you know a uh, ratchet or anything to get some leverage on it because you can't buy these darn filters uh, like my OPS here uh, it actually has to where you can get an oil filter wrench uh, let's see if this will focus I don't think it will the phone's right on me but you can see right here you actually get an oil filter to stick on there to stick a wrench and to twist um, for the trucks they don't have them and I'm not sure nobody will seem to give me an answer on uh, what I could use to easily take these off but hey whatever uh, so I'm gonna show you how to put the filters back on and uh, you do not well let me slide underneath here and we'll I'll show you the filters. Okay, so we have three filters. Uh, we have two smaller filters and we have the bypass filter. So these two here will filter the oil. Uh, this one filters it too, but this is a lot bigger filter. Uh, as far as the microns go, I'm not 100% sure what the microns are, but these are smaller. So let's say these are 20 microns and this is 30 microns. Um, so what will happen is oil is still running through here, but what will happen is if these clog up, this has a bigger hole in it. As you can see, compared to these ones. So it has a bigger hole in it. Um, but what will happen is once these ones clog, uh, it will bypass to this one here and this is a full 
flow filter. And these ones here are, I guess they call them restricted filters. Um, so the only difference is, is they're just smaller micro and they filter the oil a lot better uh, than this one here. So that's, that's what that does. Um, so there's been back and forth on do I pre-fill my filters before I stick them on or do I stick them on dry? Well, here's the thing. These are diesel engines. Uh, I stick mine on dry after doing a lot of research. It's not going to hurt the engine. Remember, you have about 10 gallons of uh, oil inside of your oil pan. So these only take about two and a half gallons to three. So you're not going to, it's, it's not going to do anything. Uh, you want to filter that oil that is in the oil pan uh, before you're, you know, you don't want to fill, you don't need to filter new oil. So you don't want to fill these up with new oil. There's really no reason for it. Uh, you want to get that dirty oil that's in there uh, filtered uh, as much as possible through the new filters. So anyways, that's the way that I do it. Now the fuel filter is a different story and I'll show you that uh, once I fill that sucker up. But uh, let's put these things on. Um, if you've ever changed your uh, oil filter in your car, it's the same basic principles. Uh, just put a little bit of oil around the seal, tighten it up, and you're good to go. So I tighten until it's snug, and then I crank it down uh, about a half of a turn. And uh, so far that's worked for me. Alrighty guys, we'll see you uh, once I get them on. Alright, as you can see, uh, fuel filter off. So she goes down in there. You can see that, but uh, anyways, I'm going to show you the correct way to fill up a fuel filter. Okay, we get, uh, yeah, here's the fuel filter here. Mm. Okay, so we open that bad boy there up. Alright, so you just open it up and then uh, we're going to pour the fuel in, but there's a certain way to do it. And uh, I'll show you here uh, in a second. Okay, so I've got my funnel here and we're going to stick it down into this hole right there. Now, the way that these filters work is the uh, the good goes in here well the old goes into the small holes here and it flows out the big holes so before now if I tried to start the truck right now it wouldn't start um, even if I stuck the fuel filter on uh, I would have to put fuel in it, and there's going to get air in the system, and it's just going to be, um, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get this truck started. Right now, there's fuel on the fuel lines, no air, no bubbles, no foul. So what we're going to do is make sure that we don't get any air or as little as air as possible in there. So this keeps, so pretty much, I'm going to be pre-filtering the fuel uh, before I stick the filter on. If I just pour the fuel down this hole, that's not going to be filtered. Now, is that does that matter? Not really, um, unless you got bad fuel. Um, my tank could be dirty. My gas tank there could be dirty. Um, you know, I'm not going to take a chance because if a little piece of crap gets stuck, sucked in, and happens to go into my brand new injectors. Um, then, you know, it'll clog the injectors. So we don't even want to take that chance. So we're going to slowly dump the fuel into this side, keeping this side blocked so nothing can get in there. That way it pre-filters uh, the fuel before I stick it on. Now, the fuel will come back out and you will see it uh, through the big hole there. So this is just pretty much pre-filtering the uh, fuel. Alrighty, I'll come back when I'm done.
Uh, let's see if she works. So what I'm gonna keep an eye on is the oil pressure. Make sure it builds. And uh, we're gonna see if our fuel filter works. <coughs> Ready? So keep an eye on the oil pressure gauge. And there she goes. So it may idle a little rough for a second or two. I just felt it a little sputter, but uh, no big deal. So keep an eye on that. As you can see, she has 770,000 miles on her. Uh, so we are going to get that filter, we're going to bump it up for a thousand RPMs for a little bit, so everything gets cycled, and then we'll turn it off and we'll check the oil. Alright, this is running good. Uh, Over here. This here is the That wire all the way, or that uh, cable all the way over. So, you let some oil go through there, and then what you do is you just get a bottle, and you stick that there, and push the little button. guys my hair looks wonderful so everything worked out great um, if you guys have any questions about that OPS system let me know um, I've been using it for about a year now um, so to give you the correct numbers um, I had 94,280 miles before I did a complete full oil change and uh, I did it myself and then the last time I did a filter change was I have 770,000 miles on the truck now the last time I did the filter change uh, so the OPS and the three was 716,689 miles ago which I believe is close to uh, wait a minute Nope, sorry. That's when I did the full oil change. So the last time I did a filter change was 743,969 miles. So the last time that I did a, a filter change was uh, 743, so about 27,000 miles ago. So I usually go about 30 to 40,000 miles. Um, the reason that I did it a little bit earlier because I just had my injectors done uh, back in January. And you know, by then it was, it was uh, you know, uh, last time I did it was back in November. So two months, that's 20,000 miles. You know, it's really not, um, there was really no need to, um, but I did a full, you know, I did a refresh this time. Um, last time I never did a refresh. So that was 94,000 miles uh, without doing a refresh. Uh, but like I said, I had the turbo go out. Um, I had a lot of stuff done to the truck on that oil. 
or on this current oil. So I just wanted to do a refresh. I haven't gotten my um, my oil sample back yet. Uh, it should be here probably Monday or Tuesday. I should get the results back. Um, but that is very important to do. Keep an eye on your oil samples. If they are showing bad, uh, if they're showing a lot of wear metals, um, you know, then that, that's kind of an indication that, you know, you need to change your oil. Um, just like I've been having a lot of fuel dilution, so I'm kind of curious to see what my oil sample comes back as this time. Um, hopefully my fuel dilution isn't up. That's another reason why I wanted to do a, um, a, a partial change, but, uh, yeah, my fuel dilution kept going up. So that's how I kind of knew that my injectors were going out. Um, but I kept going with it. And then finally I started getting uh, codes and everything on the, on the truck. So I knew it was my injectors though. Uh, I, I really didn't worry about it because, you know, the truck can go with bad injectors. You know, you can lose one or two injectors and the, the truck will still run. So I just kept a real close eye on the fuel dilution because the fuel dilution will uh, lower your viscosity in your oil so yeah if you're gonna do the extended oil change um, keep an eye make sure you do oil sampling and that will tell you uh, like I said as a general I 30 40,000 miles I will change out the um, OPS filter uh, keep my my regular the truck filters on there because the truck manual says that you can go up to 60,000 miles again my truck has 770,000 miles on it so I like to do it a little more often um, so I'll probably go about 50,000 miles uh, before I change all the filters again so in 30,000 miles I will change the OPS filter um, and do an oil sample and leave all the other filters on, the fuel filter and the, uh, the truck filters on there. And then at 50,000, I may put it to 60,000, it just depends. Um, you know, we're coming into summer, so it's getting hotter. Um, so the oil could actually uh, burn and break down a little bit faster. Um, so again, it's just all about the oil sampling and keeping an eye on uh, on the numbers but uh, I'm estimating for the for the OPS I order I think it's like a year supply of filters um, it costs about four hundred fifty dollars something like that um, but you figure I'm saving about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a year in oil changes uh, it could be more it could be closer to two thousand um, it just depends uh, I don't even I've been doing this for about two years now, so um, And I've had the OPS on my truck for about a year a uh, year and a half um, But I I started changing my own oil about two years ago because I got tired of paying $500 to change oil in a truck um, You know the oil I bought seven and a half gallons um, and I didn't even use, I still got two and a half gallons out there. I didn't even use two and a half gallons. So I only used five gallons. So that's what, uh, 50 bucks, $45. And then uh, the OPS filters, 30. So um, what is that? Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. And then uh, the filters, so about 150 dollars to do a oil change so to say um, and then again next time around it will cost me sixty dollars and then sixty maybe eighty because I got to buy another uh, two gallons of oil and then it's gonna cost uh, actually no it's just gonna be thirty because I'm just gonna replace the OPS filter and then so in six months in six months about I'll probably put another you know 150 to 200 dollars uh, for an oil change so yeah I mean if you look at the numbers um, 
it saves a lot of money. Now, is it a pain in the ass? Yes, it is. It is a pain in the ass. Um, you do have to have a place to do it. Um, you know, I'm home all the time, you know, so I, I have a place to do it and I'm not over the road. Um, you know, when I come home, I don't want to just veg out all day like most over the road guys. You know, I actually, I'm home every, every day, so I actually have time to, to do this. Is it practical if you're over the road? Not really. Um, if you're an owner operator, it's probably just easier to have somebody else do it. But I have found that TA, Petro, uh, Speedco, they just don't do it the way that I like to do it. I'm very meticulous. Um, I don't do things half-ass. I do it uh, the correct way. So I make sure all the, the everything's tight, uh, everything's cleaned, and I clean up everything underneath there. It's just, I, I think I do a better job than they do. So I've caught some shady stuff. Uh, one time I caught them on this truck. They didn't have the filter. And um, so they replaced two out of the three filters. Didn't even say anything. So keep an eye on that. Uh, what I would do is I'd actually mark the filters with a uh, permanent marker just put the date on there when it was done crawl underneath there you know uh, make sure that they actually change them a lot of people just park their truck and go and eat uh, sit there you know they don't keep an eye on this stuff uh, so I've, I've actually had that happen they only replaced two out of the three filters and they charged me for it go figure on that so that's why I like to do my own thing I know what's being done. I know that everything's tight. I know everything's buttoned up. Fuel or filter's not gonna blow out as I'm going down the road. I've heard stories of that happening. Uh, so, but anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just uh, comment below, let me know. Um, like I said, if you have any questions about the OPS system, it is a little expensive, but in the long run, um, it can save you money if you're interested in doing it. It is kind of a, I guess you could say, I've, I've talked to a few people, they're like, yeah, that's scary. I would never go that long on, on oil. But like I said, you, you, you keep an eye on your, uh, on your oil samples, uh, your, your analyst, your oil analysis. <laughs> um, and you know, it'll tell you when it's dirty and it needs to be changed. So why waste all that money going every, you know, 3,000 or 30,000 miles replacing your oil when you really don't need to and it's still clean and it's still good. Um, I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys uh, uh, my oil, uh, my oil samples um, here maybe uh, when I get around to making a video about it. But uh, I get about six months worth of oil, well, six six to seven oil samples so that's about a year and a half of oil samples so anyways guys like i said if uh you have any questions just let me know have a good day thanks for watching